Okay, we're back. Now, if you come in here with a master level hacking skill, Deacon may ask you to unlock that. I'm going to feed it some passwords. Otherwise, no. he'll just do it. No. No. Ah, missed one, you hacking bastards. Prototype's deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign there. Okay. Wait, see the box in the center of that rail sign? It's a confession. It looks like they even managed to hide something in the corner. Look around. Take your advantage of turn on the beds and make them fairly slippers. Hey, you probably saved some lives. How many of you have ever seen a courser? They're top of the line in Institute. Let's fuck up your day tech. There shouldn't be any courses in here, but if there are, just run. Okay, so far so good. Hostile sensor reading detected. High. detected. Ouch. Got myself. Deacon in my way. Deacon in my way. Leave the iguana bits. Unless you've got the cannibal perk. Actually, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, Oxhorn one time did a um, something about iguana bits in one of his lore videos. We haven't hacked anything yet. Hmm. It's real. Got it. All right.
Oh, wow. Which cruising? There's another guy up there. I'm sure of it. He's up there. Oh, there he is. Movement detected. Bye bye, Jeff. We're entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab. Place the It's called Switchboard. The prototype is locked up. So the prototype's locked up in the facility in case you didn't catch all that. Probably didn't need the chessboard. It's just wood. Although I don't think it weighs much, but there's always enough wood to go around. Clipboards, pencils, things like that that don't weigh anything are good places for wood. And you get one wood for pencil and you get one lead for pencil. And it weighs like 0.1 pounds or something. Clipboards, you get a spring and wood. Let's see, the other ones are upstairs. I just sell the synth components. I, I, I think they might be like worth 20 caps or something. Of course, all that depends on your, your skills and... Charisma. And uh, if, how many tales from a junk town dealer you've collected? I think each magazine is two percent. Maybe it's five percent. I think it's two percent. So there, there you are. You see this? This is what I'm talking about. What in the world are you doing, Bethesda? Why are you walking towards me? I don't understand. I've never understood that. I mean, I get that they're connected to your your character in some fashion or another, but seriously. It would appear my target has disappeared. When uh, you're in combat, you'd think they'd go towards combat, but no. No, we don't go towards combat. No, no, no. There's, I, there's, I don't think there's ever anything in that mirror. I've come here at so many different levels, and I, there's just nothing ever in there. It's like some of these containers are, are marked as errors. I mean, they're just permanently marked as nothing. Out of the way. What's this door? Won't be able to pick oh, this. I don't have the ability to unlock that. Oh, oh, that's just. If you've never been here, there's some cryo mines. Oh no! There are some cryo mines. <laughs> Make up your mind. And your, your companions will set those things off when they go through there. Oh, whew, I don't want that. I don't want the pistols. Where's that play button? 
Hope it says me. Oil can. So hey, take this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I wasn't here close enough to him. Excuse me. I didn't think I'd ever see this place. Mini nuke. Nice. Uh, so there's a whole bit of dialogue that I somehow skipped over by accident. At the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the planet. It's a good place to get a hazmat suit, but I don't think it's available if you're not part of the railroad quest that we're doing right. Oops, that we're doing right now. I don't think you can get this far in. And there's one right at the top here. Hello. Just to mix it up a little bit. There's nothing back that way. I don't think this ever actually works. <laughs> you can try and deactivate some of these turrets, but I don't know that they ever... I don't remember it ever actually working. See, if you come in from the top side, you can get down to the bookcase door, but you can't get to the elevator. If you're not... Actually, want the cake pan. We don't want the bowl. Steel and aluminum cans. Excellent sources of metal for no weight. vault Tech over... Let's see, might as well... Um, Eat this squirrel on a stick here. That's a bowl. That's plastic. Hmm. It clicks. <laughs> what do you know about that? Oh, that's right. We're at level 13, so I can get um, armor and uh, gun nut. That's why we're saving the solar cannon. Saw some use in the Enclave sometime after the Great Wars. You know what? I really like the solar cannons. Um, ammunition. I like the way things burn. But my goodness, is that thing heavy. It's like, um, it's heavier than the cryolator. In fact, I think it's heavier than the fat man. It's even heavier than the junk jet. And that's ridiculous. Uh, for the amount of damage that it does to be that heavy, it's, it's painful. Must be dark out because I can't see a thing. <laughs> oh, hello. Detected. Movement detected. Yes. Curious. Somebody got discovered. Oh, he's sneaking? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh. I have no idea where Deacon is. 
I think he went outside and walked over the landmines. Critical shots are 100% accurate. In case you didn't know. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. Yeah, okay. He always ends up, I think he always ends up going outside and coming in from that direction. Which always blows your sneak status and usually sets off all those mines. More times than not, I think I've seen him come in limping. Let's take this uh, Slocum's Joe stuff. Since we're here. Um, so this is one of the places that there's a stash of Slocum's Joe goodies. There's a Nuka-Cola or two over here. There's some cooking oil. Take the can and take all this stuff like that. Uh, upstairs for some more enemy goodies. And we'll turn off the light. So armorer and gun nuts. Get a good look at our, this is my night sky with one of the graphics mods that I've got. Well, I think it's the only graphics mod I have actually. Anyway, I think it's wonderful. And I think, well, I live at elevation. Um, so I see a lot more stars than people that live at sea level, just because there's less atmosphere between me and the sky. And I also live in a place where at nighttime, in five minutes, you are in the dark. Uh, there's not a, you know, you're not in the city where it's the beautiful night sky is obscured, drowned out, fogged up or whatever by all the light pollution. So when I go outside and drive five minutes out of town, I don't see the Milky Way like this. Um, but I see a, a very good Milky Way. And I see a lot of stars. Um, that's one benefit. Uh, I, well, of course it's a benefit. I think it's a benefit of living at elevation and living where nobody else lives. So we'll buzz down and turn this quest in really quick, and that'll be it for this video. We will have finished uh, trade craft, but I just want to jump, jump, dump off all my junk first. Um, railway rifle, it's just excellent, excellent rifle. If you're not, if you're not doing sneaky stuff. Um, insane amount of damage that you can get at level 20 um, once it's fully upgraded as far as rifles go the only thing that does more damage is the gauss rifle that's it nothing else even comes close I think 220 damage or something like that it'll do when everything is maxed out don't want to crush the coffee tins we need those or the cooking oil What do I get? Plastic. No, I'll sell those because they're, yeah, they're worth, well, they won't be 20. They'll be like 12. But we can trade it in for some cash, right? I mean, what the heck? We'll dump the rest of this in here. I'll keep the set, the synth components on hand. Also, I've got all this clothing. Could we have the deliverer now so we can dump this off? We'll use the deliverer as well because it's so powerful. The deliverer is easily one of the the best base game handgun, without a doubt. If you're looking at going stealth, 
um, like a maxed out for or a maxed out forty four. You know, um, the only thing is you don't get any stealth attack sneak attacks with it. Sneak attacks with the deliverer, it's insanely powerful weapon. Um, I never overlook it. I, I think that the series we're going to use some of the most powerful weapons in the game. I know a lot of people don't like the spray and pray for end game, but when you spec all the way out, you know, and, and the key of course is with spray and pray, you want to get fully specked out in demolition because that boosts, you know, you'll get a hundred percent more explosive damage with your demolition expert perk with the spray and pray and a hundred percent damage with commando. Um, yeah, the spray and pray, you could just mow people down by just shooting their legs. I, I, it's, it's, I don't know, it's the best, best automatic weapon in the game. It's just not, it's just not settler friendly. You don't want to use it around settlers because you'll just carve them in half with the explosive damage. You know, and the deliverer has the unique VATS legendary. Um, because it gives a bonus to your accuracy in VATS. And what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. 25 hits chance and less action point. Or. Improve that hits chance and 25% less action point cost. So you can, with others, you can get that's enhanced or less action point, but you can't get them both at the same time. Um, yeah, and deliver is insane. You can go completely through the, you can go through the entire game with the deliverer. Absolutely no problem. All the way to the end. Um, you can get 16 shots off with the, if you've got, you max out your agility, you can get 16 shots off before you have to reload, before you run out of that. We probably won't lie to Desdemona here. Me up, put me on her shoulder and Lying doesn't feel right with this character. Since everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? We got the job done. Does the rest matter? I suppose not. <laughs> I was expecting Deacon to... If you lie, you get affinity with Deacon. Prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about. Anyone so highly <laughs> before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? There's two really, there's two options here. Um, I think the best would be Charmer or Whisper. Um, you can get Charmer with more options. Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. And if you decide to go with... Oh, I see. We're gonna do uh, Charmer. <laughs> Call me Charmer. Charmer. Hm. Finn, your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ was one of our most deeply guarded spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. You never can tell. 
Now's a good time. I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. You've never had a partner. Not for a long time. Besides, partnering up in the railroad can leave you vulnerable. One more person who can finger you to the Institute. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. Why would the people they care about be in danger? When the coursers start kicking down doors, they don't just hit railroad safe houses. Some friends and family have been known to get axed. <laughs> Whether the Institute's motivated by vengeance or faulty intel, it doesn't matter to the people left behind. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a simp. At least that's what they tell me. So I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. You expect me to believe that. Why not? I mean, I was one of the first to get the good old Cranium reboot, and it was a learning experience for everyone. It makes me quirky and fun that way. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. All right, you got me. No fooling <laughs> you, huh? Don't take it personally. I lie to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> nice try. Is that really why you lied to me? I'm supposed to be showing you the ropes in the railroad. So let's just say this is lesson, well, whatever number we're at. That code I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing the 90% of the time someone's on the up and up and the 10% of the time you're being played. Okay, so what's going to happen is, because I have like a rapid affinity mod, as soon as we ask Deacon to join our, or to follow us, which we will, because I want his perk, and he's the most entertaining of all the companions, um, our affinity is going to be like level one, and then as soon as we talk to Dr. Carrington, let's go to level two, and as soon as we talk to to uh, the guy at Bunker Hill, it's going to max out. So that's just the way it goes. We're going to pick it up there next time. I want to say thanks for watching, and uh, see you next video.